This is one of a series of videos on the behaviors and biology of the ant Phydole adrianoi. This episode is about the construction and use of a plaster laboratory nest that I developed. The basis of the nest is a plastic sandwich box with a floor of dental plaster. The inside walls are coated with a layer of fluon to prevent escape. The nest cavity is carved in the plaster and covered with a double microscope slide. The cutout lids assure that no ants can escape. The plaster is watered through a tube opening into a hole drilled in the plaster but not connected to the nest cavity. The ants readily occupy these nests. A grain of rice is shown for scale of the Behaviors are easily observed and filmed in these nests. In this experiment, the colony was fed frozen termites dyed with a fluorescent dye, rhodamine B. The termite flesh is quickly fed to the larvae. Within one to two hours, dye begins to appear in larvae. Note the piece of termite being eaten by the larva to the right. Here, at two hours, termites are breaking up a dyed termite head. By 18 hours, most uh, larvae have received dye. Under UV light, the dye fluoresces orange at high concentration. Thirty-six hours elapsed. Forty-two hours. At forty-two hours under UV light, there's less orange fluorescence and more greenish. Fifty-four hours elapsed. Now under UV, the greenish fluorescence indicates that less dye is present. 77 hours. At 77 hours, there's only weak greenish fluorescence. At 90 hours, there's only weak fluorescence. And at 120 hours, fluorescence is almost undetectable. The dye gradually fades as larvae empty their guts in preparation for pupating, and the amount of dye in circulation decreases. <laughs>